Hi everyone. Uh, today we will we are going to configure the global product on the Palo Alto firewall and we will be integrating two factor authentication. So here uh, Palo Alto will have a, a interface Ethernet one slash one with the IP one one nine dot one zero nine and I will have PC to connect the VPN on one one nine dot eighty and this interface. Mm, one slash one will be outside interface and I will have a uh, one taste subnet one 129.1 slash 32 on uh, uh, zone inside and uh, on previous video I have already integrated uh, AD server LDAP server and a uh, privacy idea OTP server so let's start the configuration At first, we will generate the certificate GP Global Protect certificate. Then, common name I will assign the IP of my uh, outside interface 109.109 and sign by uh, certificate authority and I will. I will add here IP address 192.168.109.109 then organization test test organization and I will click on generate now the certificate is is successfully generated I will trust the certificate next I will uh, configure SLTLS profile so TLS and from the certificate drop down I will select the certificate that I have just uh, generated next thing uh, I will be creating one zone for the global protect zone and I will enable the user identification I will select L3 click OK next step I'm going to uh, configure one tunnel interface tunnel 1 or I will assign virtual router default and security zone GP zone global protect zone click on OK Okay, now I'm going to configure the portal. Okay, before that, I have two authentication profile already configured. Auth profile, LDAP is integrated. Radius profile, uh, privacy idea, two factor OTP server is already integrated. Okay, so next I'm going to configure the portal. I will name it as a GP portal. I will select my outside interface one slash one IP from the drop down authentication section SSL TLS profile. I will select just that I have just created now. Client authentication profile authentication. Okay. Now for the portal, I will be using uh, auth profile that is LDAP uh, authentication profile for portal authentication. Click on OK. Go to agent section. Config. Operating system will be any. Uh, external gateway I will name it as a gateway and IP of the external gateway 192.168.119.109 and the source region will be any for now click OK OK now 
uh, for, for the trusted root certificate i will select the certificate that i have generated click ok next step i am going to configure the gateway i will name at gateway gateway ethernet 1 slash 1 then select ip authentication profile ssl tls profile that i have created uh, client authentication this time in authentic authentication profile i am going to select the radius authentication click on ok now on agent tab i will enable the tunnel i will select the tunnel interface that i have cre just created and i will assign the max user 5 for now the client setting source we user any reason will be any okay next on ip pool i will assign one pool that the user get while connecting to the global product so 0.100.2.0.0.105 pre tunnel if the user need to go a 1.9.1 slash 32 then the traffic should pass to the tunnel global protect tunnel and uh, except this subnet all the traffic will pass through the local gateway of the remote pc click ok next when the user is connected they will be at uh, gp zone now i have to uh, create a policy from the gp zone to inside zone so global protect allow the user will be at gp zone source address any for now destination uh, if the user want to go to the inside then application application any service any click allow click on ok now commit the configuration Now once the commit is completed, we will try to connect to the global protect and see if it is working as expected or not. Okay, so commit is completed. Now let's try the configuration so uh, what we can do is we can download the client from this ip uh, with the credentials of the ldap server so now uh, the required uh, client we can download from here but but i have already a uh, client installed on my machine global protect client so i will not download it now next i will add the ip of the portal that is 192.168.119.1.109 continue the username see this is the portal and we have uh, for the port, uh, portal authentication we have added the ldap authentication profile so i will assign uh, i will put here ldap credentials 
and password for LDAP. I will refresh the connection. Okay. So this is a device. And I will check if the certificate is trusted or not. It is trusted. Next is. We'll go to the portal present okay i will click here now i will try to connect the global protect from the remote pc that has ip 119.80 so first we can download the client the portal address and uh, for the portal we have authentication LDAP profile so I will try to log in with that LDAP credentials now uh, we can download the required clients but I have already installed that client so uh, uh, I will try to connect okay so now I have portal address 109.109 and for portal I have a uh, username this one and password is I will uh, give the password now it is gateway on gateway we have 2FF profile radius profile so for that I need to use the pin and token so pin is 1 2 3 4 and Token is three four eight six three four from the Google Authenticator app. Now I will try to open. Uh, I will try to connect to the Global Protect. Okay, now I am able to connect. Now I will try to reach to my uh, loopback IP that is in inside zone one eight two one sixty dot one two dot nine dot one okay so i am able to reach but when i disconnect this one the connection will be lost okay so this is the configuration thanks for watching the video